men should absolutely be able to sue Bachelor Nation for this mess and all the times they endanger these women. Okay, so uh, Bachelor Nation has a long problematic history of not vetting well and putting women in literal danger. Maybe it's because they just don't care, but it's actually because of rating. Now, I'm not sure if they knew that the Golden Bachelor, Gold Digger Gary uh, was a liar. A lie he lied about being a restaurateur and uh, retiring early. He was a janitor, hot tub guy. He seems to have lived high on the hog because of his wife. Uh, you know, lied about having schmegs in six years. Lied about kissing. Lied about having an ex-girlfriend who he, like, just lies. Lies, 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 lies. It's probably not even his dog. So we know that they, like, either didn't bother looking on LinkedIn or just didn't care, which is most likely the thing. But none of this is new. But these have real life consequences. They are toying with these women's trauma. And you know what? That is par for the course, I guess. Just dating men in general can is a risk. It's honestly, if you're a woman, <laughs> going on a date with a man is the most dangerous thing you can do other than giving birth. Marrying a man, attaching yourself, falling in love with a man. I literally used to be a, a rock climber. I scaled thousand foot walls hanging off of a rope and a piece of metal. And not the most, I was a raft guide. I traveled alone as a woman all over the place for years. I lived in my truck. The most dangerous thing I ever did, fall in love with a hobo schmegual. And for anyone who doesn't know who that is, it's a literal parasite who uses women for their money and their resources and oftentimes is abusive and unalives them. So given how dangerous it is for women to date, the least these producers could do is vet, but they don't want to because they don't care about our safety and they love drama and rating. Now there's always going to be drama, but drama of like a lying, manipulative, seemingly covert narcissist is a lot different than just the drama of dating and personalities and, you know, crashing up against each other and competing for this dude. Like the fact that they're, all those beautiful women are competing for this dude. Women should be able to sue over the recklessness, over the recklessness of these producers, endangering them to the emotional abuse, the possibility of being coerced into all kinds of stuff. Maybe then they would actually vet. Society not taking women's safety seriously is absolutely nothing new. But you know, back when this all started, they actually put a literal serial unaliver on one of these dating games. Also are notorious for not vetting well in terms of mental health. Now, this is the only one I know of, the only um, uh, schmooist side that I know of on Bachelor Nation. But uh, some of these UK shows like Love Island and stuff, I'm pretty sure they have like more than one. I mean, look at this headline. Convicted. Not alleged, uh, convicted of assault battery after a woman on a cruise, sentenced to one year <laughs> in a house of correction and a, a two year probationary period. Like, this is not hard to find out, y'all. Claim to do FBI background checks. I mean, I think I went through more of an FBI background check to teach in a public school in New York than any of y'all fools do in putting women's lives in, on, in danger. And we should check for anyone who works with children too. Absolutely, they should do even more. The producers are like, what? We don't know why. We don't know how this happened. You know, he, he denied it. Like, and someone said in my comments on a video yesterday, this is also like very much white man privilege here. The fact that they just take, if they didn't know about Gary, they just took his word. They just took this dude's word. I actually don't know anything about the guy who did this. But they just, we, they, men just believe men. No questions asked. Yeah, you have any essay uh, charges? No, bro, no. <laughs> but if you haven't already seen the expose on this dude and what just a liar he is. Lies, 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 cries, 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 and uses women. That's why he chose um, Teresa. Money bags, cash cow. Anyway, I actually want to go back to something I myself wrote several years ago that I forgot that I wrote. This is uh, for Glamour Magazine. Uh, yet another Bachelor scandal. Bachelor scandal. It was actually, um, this is when I had to start really watching the show, like actually watching it instead of trying to and being like, Ugh. Stuff I found out is like horrified me, which is why I haven't really been watching it until Golden Bachelor came out. I only watched it so I could like use it as a teachable moment. Uh, we do not need a show about a man looking for a hospice wife. But even the creator of the show is problematic. This dude. Like he's, I actually read up even more about him last night, which I'm going to share in a minute. Like no wonder this show was created by this dude. He was accused of his wife of, you know, attacking her, demanding she get 
and abortion, which, you know, I'll talk about all the time that reproductive abuse men will either make you have a baby or like make you have an abortion or like lot, like sabotage your birth control. Men control women so much with reproductive crap. And her, a restraining order was granted. So that means she had a valid case. They don't just do this stuff lightly. But classic, classic right here. Oh, your fly slams, you know, actually, I'm the one that was attacked, right? She attacked me. And you know, her miscarriage made her just not think clearly. Crazy hormonal women. I mean, you know what I mean, boys? It's also been <laughs> gotten in trouble for being a jerk as a neighbor. It terrorizes neighbors with noise. The reason that The Bachelor was started to begin with is terrifying. It's because uh, who wants to marry a millionaire? For anybody who is a lot younger than me, who does not remember this terror. But the whole reason The Bachelor came into existence way to like was because he wanted to repackage who wants to marry a millionaire basically look he's even quoted saying girls crying is still the backbone of the show over the course of endless seasons of the bachelor they've had you know uh consent stuff come up megs of harassment constant online bullying now as as a woman online for a living this is a ve this is a very big thing and you know you can't blame the show for what other people do but what you can do is hold them accountable for creating a narrative that's not true. If you go back and see my love is blind stuff, Miriam, they made her look like such a fool and that woman is brilliant. They have, these shows have a long history of humiliating women, but especially black women. We saw it again in love is blind this season. If you wanna see that go in, go in the playlist, it's there. Like I said here, it's not the bullying, that's not the producer's fault. It's the way that they portray these women on the shows and their storylines. I was on a National Geographic reality show only because it was about like survival brain in the outdoors. And even on that show, the dude everyone hated due to the editing looked like a great guy. The, the, the guy I could tolerate because he wasn't that, you know, you know, was pretty nice even though he's a military dude. They made him look terrible. My friends watched the show. They're like, oh, I hated that guy. And I was like, no, he was actually nice. The other guy tried to sleep with me and cheat on his wife. Of course, I said, no way, dude. He's gross. Everyone in the crew hated him because he was misogynistic. He was homophobic. He was all these things. But because of editing, he looked like the hero. So believe me when I tell you, I understand that the producers and editors have so much power. Mikey here is all like, oh, I'm horrified that this, you know, it is isn't that kind. Dude, shut up. He never takes accountability for anything that happens on his shows. Let's go back to the start of The Bachelor to begin with. I mean, go look up this title on, this is for Huffington Post a while back. It was literally this crazy misogynistic show, Who Wants to Marry a Millionaire, that led to the creation of The Bachelor. It was the backlash towards that show made uh, Mike Fleiss pivot and create The Bachelor. But he wanted to do the exact same thing, just make it look a little different. Like, look, this was like Who Wants to Marry a Millionaire. It was so... You know, it's like this whole idea that women are gold digger. Now they're all competing for this loser just because he has money. How, this is so humiliating, y'all. The Bachelor is just that, but more like beauty pageant energy. Vice even admitted it was going to be even more pageant-like. Right down to the swimwear portion. I'll have the girls come out, do a little thing, even do things together, songs and dances, like. And who wants to marry a millionaire? It was like, they didn't even gonna, like, get to see the dude. It's about marrying him for his money, basically. He wanted to take this concept and heighten it. He basically blames like cancel culture kind of like valid criticisms of the show for that show going under. But he's like, but it's cool because I have got The Bachelor and there's like over 20 seasons, so we're good. Like, read this paragraph. This is what this man said. Like, the things that plagued that show like totally wouldn't happen now. You know, people like the guy with the knife and you know, the racist girl. Every show has something weird like that. We're just, you know, our show was just the first one. Give us a break. Look, he even had the audacity to compare it to childbirth. Giving birth is a painful thing. We're gonna give birth to this genre of television. It's gonna be more painful. Like, oh God. This from the man who made his wife get an abortion. Okay. He like tried to pride himself on being the only people who like did HIV tests. He's like, everyone should thank me for vetting. Ha ha ha. Yeah. He even knew that this, these kind of shows are going to piss off the National Organization of Women. Like, we knew it'd be controversial. Love controversy. So Feist switched out, like, swimwear pageants for hot tub scenes. Think about that, y'all. Like, we do blood tests, psych tests. But most important, they have to look good in a hot tub. It's the template that this show created that's the worst. Because of the white beauty standard, the show is almost always left with white women winning. Women's desirability comes down to whiteness, uh, thinness, and looking good in a hot tub. This guy. 
as he says himself, he has no issue with controversy because he's a ratings guy. He doesn't mind a scandal because it creates publicity.